Now we will have again uh, Dr. Pado with us to discuss Phil Erie, the what and how. And then to be followed by a workshop on recording Miss Cues. Dr. Pado from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Oh, sa mga kabagang ko, mga Bicolana, anong sinasabi ng Phil Erie? Kasi nag-interview ako doon ng teachers. Ang tatay ko po ang Bicolano. Anyway, ang feedback po from the field, mahirap siyang i-administer, it takes time. Kasi isa-isa mong talagang i-diagnose ang bata. Mahirap i-administer. Do you agree? Mahirap i-administer kasi isa-isang papabasahin ang mga bata. Any other reaction? Dito sa table na to, ma'am. Reaction regarding Phil Erie? Ikaw, ma'am. If to follow up po kay ma'am, other than that, time-consuming nga po, we still have oral and silent, and that would take another time and days for the teachers to administer it. Okay. Meron ng oral, meron pang silent, so doble daw ang time ng teacher. Okay, may addition pa, ma'am. Uh, feel eerie according to the teachers is a difficult task. Uh, that's the reason why they are manufacturing data. The teachers are manufacturing results. Hindi galing yan sa akin, ha? Galing yan kay ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, another one. And for Phil Erie, we identify the reading difficulties of the child, but it's only up to the level of the teacher. The teacher did not able to go beyond like at the end of the year, the next teacher who will receive the children would at least know, would have a baseline of what is the reading difficulty of this certain child so that an intervention would come in in the future. Okay. So, ang result hanggang sa teacher lang of the present level, hindi na iko communicate sa next level na teacher. O si ma'am talagang, sino pa yun? Okay, As we observe, ma'am, regarding the Feel airy implementation. It's more on document based lang. Yun nga, sa, tama yung sabi ni ma'am, kulang talaga siya ng intervention because we identify the, the reading levels of our learners, but what happened next? It stopped there. Okay? And that's the most important that to be given to our teachers. Sana yung best intervention should be given to the needs of our pupils as we know the reading level of each learners. Suspetsa ko na nga, hindi nakakarating dyan sa end. Hanggang lang sa we assess. Ay, nako, lahat ng studyante ko ay anong tawag dyan? Uh, hindi lang instructional, kundi frustration level. Frustrated na rin ang teacher. Okay, ma'am. This is an observation. Ideally, the field area is supposed to be conducted by all in the school structure, just school structure, which starts, of course, from the principal and to the teachers. In, a, in a confirmation with what they have said, that it's time-consuming. Why it's time-consuming? It only rests on the teacher. It's when, we can, uh, when they conduct it in the school. Iba ang sinasabi natin, ideally, everybody should conduct the field area. Kaya tuloy nangyayari, end of the school year, hindi natatapos ni teacher. Okay. Ideally, dapat ikakandak ng lahat ng teachers, pero, pero, okay, Hinto tayo doon. O dito sa table na to, any reaction about field area? O same reaction daw? Ah, uh, sino ang may iba pang reaction? Yun namang medyo positive. <laughs> Kasi, uh, si sir, positive ata. The resurrected, born again, feel eerie. Not anymore within the level of the, the teacher because there is a design appropriate intervention that will be discussed by Dr. Fado. Positive kasi magdi-design daw tayo ng intervention. O may isa pang positive dito si ma'am. 
Uh, good morning once again. We, we would just like, uh, would like to share with you one good practice in the division of Leyte in our region, Region 8, that um, it's not anymore a burden on the part of the teachers because in that particular division, there is that testing team that is um, to conduct, to administer the post fill area. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -mm. Nalilesen yung burden ng teacher kasi mayroong testing team. Sila na ang bahala na mag-post test. And aside from that, uh, the teachers doing the pre-test are not to do manufacturing of the data because they know that at the end of the school year, there will be the post uh, fill eerie which will be administered by the administrators. So, ang magpo-post test na hindi ang teacher, kaya hindi po pwedeng frustration pag pre-test, gagawin ko na lang instructional pag post test. Pag instructional sa pre-test, gagawin ko ng uh, independent sa post test. Sino may nagre-raise ng hand dito? Ay. Okay. Uh, positive naman ano? <laughs> In connection with the topic of Mom Padilla uh, assessment, actually, uh, sa multi-factored assessment, isang bagay ito na makakatulong sa mga teachers natin. But then, we have to consider also the, uh, the attitude of the teachers. nag assess lang sila afterwards. Sabi nga ni Ma'am, well, pas positive yun, Ma'am, in the sense na very useful ito. Sana with the correct uh, usage and interventions after the assessment, the result of the assessment. So this is positive. Yun nga lang sa ibang, sa, dating sa ibang teachers, nagiging burden because yung time frame na ginagawa ito, hindi, naka, hindi napapaloob sa kumbaga programa. At least man lang, after 4 and 5, then you can go through the pre and post assessment then they uh, the result of this will lead them on how to do the teaching kung ano talaga yung needs suited to the level of the learners thank you so dapat yung results pagkatapos magiging basis for intervention oh si sir muna muna tapos si sir eric uh, good morning, everyone. Piliri is actually a very essential tool for teachers, especially in uh, reading instruction, but it has to be, uh, the, the administration procedure has to be simplified for teachers, and uh, why not use technology to have it simplified and user-friendly for teachers around, across the country? Simplify, make it teacher-friendly. Sir Eric. Okay, uh, looking at the positive side, uh, marami po kaming program. We, we came up with different programs, reading programs, based on the result of the pill uh, we, uh Database, so how are we going to improve the reading level of our students? We have uh, reading corner competition, extensive reading program, USSR, library hub, and then linkages with the community. So even at Ateneo, natatap namin yan para mag-donate ng mga books sa amin. So far, yung mga batang medyo kahit pa sabihin na sa fourth year level na sila, and then uh, basta magustuhan lang nilang bumasa. Ano yung favorite mong book? Gagawa kami, may book parade pa po kami at paparada kami sa buong bayan uh, for them to show that we really love reading in this particular school. So, maganda naman. So, maraming nagagawang intervention afterwards. Meron pa? Sino yung nagre-raise ng hand kanina? Meron pa? Oh, si sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, actually, I, if I could remember, I was a part of the team who really have organized Philippine Informal Reading Inventory. I was in UP, and I came from UP also, ma'am, for my reading. Uh, I could feel na ang problema po natin wala po sa field areas at tool no, for reading na sa implementation. Kasi we keep on changing. No? We keep on changing. Technology keeps on changing. Approaches keep on changing. Probably, Ako kasi noon sa Sultan Kudrat Division, Region 12 po, ma'am. No? I started by going to the different districts and uh, introducing Phil Eri as a tool in reading and making understand that 
everyone is a reader. Not only an English teacher or the advisor, even the mathematics or science teacher is a reader. So, ang ginagawa kasi noon is, advisor doing that for a day, probably in two months' time before the submission of reports, comes the mathematics teacher. Mathematics teacher can attend to probably five to seven students. No? In a day or in a week. I don't know. But the concern is that, Phil, it is a concern of everyone in the school. And it's a tool. Nakakatulong. So, siguro na sa implementation yung problema natin. Kasi kung mayroon pa rin tayong feel airy by now, at saka na-improve natin in terms of, uh, at the context of the needs of the children. So, mayroon tayong tool na hinahawakan talaga, no? To evaluate students' performance in reading. At saka, hindi pwede na sasabihin natin walang intervention. Hindi po. Kasi after no submission ng report, I have to analyze, I have to do some decisions, come up probably with some programs to help our teachers. Uh, do some interventions on especially those who belong to frustration level. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Oh, last si ma'am. Okay. Um, isa ding ano, ma'am, ang feel eerie result kasi sa, sa teacher level, ma'am, based on the uh, experience ng ating teacher, ang result kasi ng feel eerie ng isang classroom would affect the performance of the teacher uh, Yes, ma'am. Yun ang nangyayari, ma'am. Yun ang situation. Kasali sa past. So, ang tendency is, kung marami ng independent or instructional this year, pag grade 2, pagka grade 3 na pre-test na naman, marami na namang magiging frustration. Marami na. na marami, ba, babalik, ma'am. So, mga ganyan na cyclical problem, ma'am. Kaya sabi ko, I, am, I will go with the, with the idea of, sir, it's more of strengthening its implementation and letting the teacher really understand after getting the result, the functionality of the result, so that it would at least improve the implementation of Phil Erie. Oh, naiintindihan ko na ngayon kung bakit wala ng frustration level pag fourth quarter, pag post-test. Hindi pala mapopromote pag may frustration level pa. Ah, eh, di gusto ko na lang i-handle section one. Wala talagang frustration level doon. Uh, yes, ma'am. From DepEd Region 12, ma'am, some of the teachers also complain on the use system you on the system we use. Kasi ma'am, pag hindi mo lahat nakuha yung number na nakuha ng pre-test, pag submitted ng post-test, hindi siya ma ano no matatanggap o isa yon ma'am system. And also ma'am yung passage ma'am late na dumarating sa division office. 